Well, ABC6 is on your side, the first to fight back and help prosecutors find four suspected deadbeat dog owners. Fighting back reporter Steve Levine is live in our ABC6 On Your Side Help Center, where tips are now being called in to authorities. Steve? Yolanda, the phone lines are open. The calls are already coming in. 481-6848 is the number to call. We are teaming up with the city attorney's office here in Columbus. They are going after what they call their deadbeat dog owners. These are folks who are charged with having a vicious dog and not constraining it or keeping them at bay. One case in particular, six people who were attacked by a pit bull, including one eight-year-old who nearly lost his ear. Eight-year-old Jamarian and his 11-year-old brother James now able to kick a soccer ball around in the yard. Just four months ago, the two were severely injured in a pit bull attack in West Columbus. Because my son was almost lost his, his ear. He, he scarred up. These are photos of Jamarian's ear all bandaged up. James was bitten in the arm and leg. His younger brother now too afraid to be near a dog. He sees a dog, he's riding his bike, he's going to get off and come straight in the house and leave his bike. The boys were with their dad at a friend's house when the attack happened. Four others were hurt. County Animal Control removed three adult pit bulls, including a mother and six puppies. The owner told us then, his pets, not violent. I don't condone my dogs like nobody, but they're not vicious dogs. But months later, Robert Middlebrooks has yet to tell his version to a judge. A warrant's now been issued for his arrest because the dog owner has failed to appear in court. I'm furious because there's nothing, my hands are tied, there's nothing I can do at the wait. Middlebrooks now faces three misdemeanor charges in connection with the attack. He's not the only dog owner in trouble with the law. Michael Hughes, Tamala Weaver, and Terry Smoot, all accused in separate incidents of failing to keep a vicious dog confined or restrained. These weren't just their dogs running loose, their dogs were involved in attacks or bites, and then they still have not come to court and have not addressed the situation. All four now face misdemeanor charges. If you know where prosecutors can find these folks, they want to hear from you.